Hi, my name's Alison Lebrensky Moy and I'm a proud Wiradjuri woman working at the National Library of Australia as the Trove Indigenous Outreach Officer. Protocol 5 is about description and classification of works within um, libraries and institutions um, and the importance of getting that right um, for community. We frequently hear that the descriptions that are placed by catalogers or by um, anthropologists and the like who um, have, you know, discovered these items um, are often more traumatic um, than some of the images or the content that is within the items themselves. Um, they're very colonialised, very um, white, I suppose, um, and not um, not relevant or not um, appropriate for the work itself. Um, they can be very upsetting and traumatic. Something that libraries can do moving forward would be to um, work with community to make sure that the descriptions on these items that are acquired, um, you know, moving forward are labelled appropriately. Um, there are many things that we can do um, within the metadata to ensure that they're easily discoverable when cataloguing um, Indigenous content um, or Indigenous related material. Um, it's important to um, double check to ensure that um, the way in which you're cataloguing it is appropriate and correct. Um, IATSIS's Pathways the SORA is actually a really good um, uh, resource that's um, free for us to use um, and it looks at um, the different ways that things can be categorised so whether it's something that's you know might be an object it might be something about language um, or it might be something about place um, so that's a, a really good starting point um, to, to begin with but ultimately it comes back to consulting with community um, you know this is their story um, and we just need to work with them to make sure that we're conveying it in an appropriate manner for them um, or telling it in a way that they, that they see fit. Thinking about Auslan codes, um, which is something that IATSIS have put together, um, which is a really strong um, tool for, for users. Um, it's you know, just recently been recognised by the you know, National, International C Library Congress as, you know, something that is you know a, an international standard essentially that we can work with now for libraries using these types of tools that we have at our you know fingertips um, just ensures that um, users can discover this stuff is more easily um, but also ensure that um, the the descriptions and the classifications that are put on these are more appropriate moving forward um, it's a very big job and it's something that um, you know we can make sure that we get right from things that we receive. But we also need to look at the stuff that you know we've had historically as well. So um, you know, again, that's another big project where we would need to you know go back and look at things, and again, working with community um, to ensure that you know we are conveying their story in an appropriate manner. Um, but remembering that it is their story. It's important to get description and classification right um, as soon as possible. Um, our old people are passing away. You know, working with community um, and, and getting their advice um, on things is utmost importance at this point. If we, you know, just start cataloguing things in a generic manner, um, we are not gonna actually have a, a you know, a full or a holistic representation um, of, you know, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander history.